Hey guys, so today we're going to be building a GPU expansion box. Uh, this would suit people who are using uh, Octane Render, Redshift, Blender Cycles, uh, or the mainstream um, GPU renderers. So basically, uh, my need for this was I needed more horsepower, uh, and I did, couldn't fit any more double-wide GPUs in my render system. Uh, so I was looking around and I found these USB uh, 3 X PCI extenders um, and so I purchased some and I you know done a couple of test runs and all seemed to work and uh, I was actually shocked by the the very small loss of performance that I that, that I witnessed so I thought um, why not put it into an enclosure I felt it was a little bit messy and I have a one-year-old kid so um, I wanted to keep it nice and neat so I looked into a couple options um, into GPU expansion prior to that and like the things like the cubics and the cyclone systems and it store um, they offer these enclosures uh, but at you know a, a quite a premium price uh, obviously the bandwidth of them is second to none um, and they're very well suited to stuff like DaVinci Resolve um, but you know I just couldn't afford the you know three to six thousand dollar price tag that came with it so I found a Node 304 case uh, and I thought, you know what, we could fit this in. So today we're going to do a build log. Um, I'm going to run you through the steps of how I built mine. Um, I'm hoping that you guys will build yours and, you know, um, you can share it with me down in the comments. Look, it's not for everyone. Um, it's uh, finicky. It took me a whole day to finish the project. Uh, but I got what I wanted out of it and it's a short term fix until I figure out uh, how to get a lot of GPUs into one system which I'll work on a video together for that um, but you know until then this did time me over and the price was 165 US dollars for the enclosure so it was quite a cheap and cost-effective solution uh, for me and the bandwidth wasn't an issue so let's jump into the build let's have a look and I'll see you on the other side All right, we'll start with the box and basically we're just going to strip out all the internal parts. And here we're just going to feed the front sort of header cables back through the hole, take off the front case and then remove the screws which hold the USB and audio in place. Okay, next we're going to take off the power supply bracket because we're going to uh, reposition it. Um, I unfortunately rounded off the screws as I was trying to take it off, so I had to pull out my Dremel. Okay, so just a quick test fit with the 1060. All right, seeing how I'm going to mount the power supply, um, to just to make sure there's enough clearance uh, there, and I'm going to use the existing uh, power uh, extender on that. Basically what I'm going to use, I'm going to use um, the HD bracket on the node and mount, I'm going to cut it and mount the power supply to that. So one of the biggest issues was, see the PCI bracket is sort of longer, um, so I had to uh, come up with a solution to try and raise it. Now. I have the I had these mod cubes that I've had here for ages. Basically, as you can see here, they're like um, they're a threaded nut on all four sides. So um, this made my job really easy. Um, and we'll see now because I can use the same holes and mount all the way through. And with the mod with the mod cubes attached, you'll see that the PCI bracket stays off the floor. Okay, so now I'm just going to mark up the holes to cut, uh, to drill through and mount the PCI brackets um, to secure them down to the case. So I'm just marking with a pen and then drilling out with my drill, um, just making a hole big enough so I could feed a screw through. So just a quick test fit to make sure the holes are all lined up. 
The unfortunate thing was after I drilled through, as you can see, there's little uh, sharp metal sticking out. So I just pulled out the Dremel with a sanding disc <coughs> and I've just um, smoothened that level out. And now I'm mounting the PCI brackets. Um, I've done this upside down, I found it was easier. And here we see all three of them mounted. Not exactly straight, but look. <laughs> they're screwed in and they're not going anywhere. That's the main uh, thing. So now I'm just, uh, just tidying up those fan cables and I'm gonna start um, mounting the PSU. So here we're just marking up where I'm gonna cut. Uh, the pencil doesn't actually show uh, on the camera, but uh, you'll see soon where I actually cut and how I mount the PSU. Um, I did cut this outside because it was quite thick, but um, you'll get to see it later. Okay, now just doing some basic uh, cable management, uh, connecting up the Molex power to each of the PCI uh, slots I guess so this is going to supply the 75 watts from the PCI slot to all the graphics cards uh, and then we run through the USB cables I run them underneath and out the back and then um, I zip tie it at the end just to keep it nice and neat coming straight out Okay, so the, P, uh, the PSU bracket that I made, um, so it's going to fit exactly where the SATA brackets were, and we're just going to screw it in as such, and that's going to hold up the PSU. Okay, for now I'm just going to do a, a quick fit with um, two Quadro cards that I have here. Um, basically I just want to give it a quick test run to make sure uh, everything's working and in order before we go ahead and finish it off. So all three cards, um, I've, I've put them in uh, the Dell Precision just to quickly see if everything's been recognized. Then I also went ahead and uh, tested the Mac Pro make sure um, everything's in order and everything's working. Okay, now the final test, uh, just setting it up on my render system, um, hopefully it boots.
Okay, we're in. Um, so that's a good sign. So I'll just check that they're all being recognized by the system. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, look, it, it is a fun project, um, especially if you're a tweaker, which I am. I love tinkering with things, so um, I did enjoy it. Uh, lots of cuts on my little fingers from the uh, steel, so. Um, as I said earlier, it fits my purpose. Um, let me know if you're gonna build one, uh, if I can help with anything. I'll put all the links in the description from all the stuff I bought um, and where I bought them from. A lot of the stuff was from eBay. But um, the other thing I found was this, uh, let's call it a PCI splitter, but I found that it was about $30. Um, so in my next video, we're gonna be testing out this $30 PCIe splitter with the box to see if we could get uh, one slot split to three who knows we'll find out soon but uh if you enjoyed it like and subscribe if you didn't dislike leave a comment and let me know why at least but um thanks for watching